<laughs> more people doing a second class today. Ah, okay, guys, let's let's start. Let's have some fun and yeah, just let's rock and roll. We're gonna start lying on the mat. So don't stand up just yet. You can go back down to the mat if you are standing up. <laughs> All right, so we're just, um, again, practice with care. Um, yeah, listen to your body and just try to be aware about the positioning, the sensation, the execution um, to make the whole practice more meaningful. So we got 15 minutes, let's move together everybody. So let's go lie on our back, find our mat. Right, so don't worry about the feet, just go ahead and lie on your back here. What I want you to do just lift the legs up and we just lift the arms up. What we're gonna do is just circle the ankles, not quite Pilates, but we're gonna start warming up the ankles and the wrists. Sometimes we act, most of the time we don't do that. So that's a quite nice one. So circle the ankles and circle the wrist, one direction. And then we're gonna do the awkward direction of the other way. You might find that one feels a little bit more interesting than the other, so the interesting once we're gonna practice a little bit more. So just circling one round and then the other round. And now what I want you to do is just shake it all up. Shake it all up, shake like no one is watching you. Just shake it up. That's it, especially for those of you who are in the morning and you just got up, shake your whole body, wake yourself up. Right, this afternoon for me and I've done a class in the morning, so I'm pretty much awake, but some of you need to wake up. <laughs> all right, shake it all out, that's it. All right, and then just let it go. All right, now you can place your feet on the floor and I want you to have your feet in line with your sitting bone. So not too wide and not too close. Just imagine where your sitting bones are. Sitting bones, by the way, is the bum, bum, your uh, bones in your bottom. When you sit down, you can feel those protruding two bones. Those are your sitting bones. So I want you to line up the sitting bone and your heels. And then have your knees or your feet in appropriate distance away from the um, pelvis. And then from here, we're gonna go into plantar and plantar flex and dorsiflex feet. So we're gonna just lift the heels up, warming up the metatarsals, and then lower the heels down. Flex the feet up, dorsiflex that is, or lift the toes so the heels stay down and down. Lift the heels up and we'll lower. Lift the toes and the foot up. Thank you, and we'll lower. And just again, warming up the ankles here and then dorsiflex the feet and then release. And then plantar flex the lower. Last one, dorsiflex the feet and lower. Now I want you to just be aware, press the big toes down onto the floor. And then connect the little toes down onto the floor. Connect the inner ankle and connect the outer ankle. So your feet are alive and energized on the floor. So you may find that your arch of the feet is starting to rise up off the floor. So press the feet down, reach the arms long. We're gonna start with the pelvic curl here. So we breathe out, we're gonna draw in the abdominal and we're gonna bring the lower back down to the floor, curling the tail up. And then continue, we roll up through the spine, reaching the pelvis towards the knees. Now here, your pelvis is biased towards a posterior tilt, which is a tuck under, you're curling your tailbone up, pressing the arms down, and then lifting the whole spine up just a tiny bit more. Watch that you don't flare your ribcage out. Inhale at the top. Now as we exhale, channel your breath down through the spine melting the spine down vertebra by vertebra and then releasing the pelvis to your start position and we repeat again breathe out the first thing's going to happen your abdominal is going to sink onto the floor we're going to curl the tailbone up and then we're going to continue rolling up rolling up rolling up rolling up pressing the arms down lifting the hips up a little bit more in breath and exhale, rolling the spine down, melting your spine all the way down, coming back to your start position and continue. Just enjoy this in breath. Exhale, we draw in the abdominal, we curl the tailbone and then the hamstring, the muscle behind the thigh starts to kick in. 
The tailbone curled up, your bottom pushes the hips up, but your abs are still working so your ribs does not flare out to the ceiling. Press the arms down, lift the whole trunk a little bit more. And we exhale, we roll the spine back down to the floor and release back to your start position. We've got one more time. We breathe out. We're gonna make this pelvic curl the best one yet. Roll it up, curl it up, tailbone up, press the arms down, lift the hips up, press the feet down, lift the pelvis up, inhale at the top. Exhale, lengthen the neck away from the shoulders as you roll the spine right down to the floor and back to your start position. Beautiful. Floating the arms up to the sky, everybody. Palms facing each other. We're gonna reach the right arm up to the sky. We're gonna lift that shoulder blade off the floor. And then all you need to do is just drop that shoulder blade down. Bam. And then inhale, reach the other arm up to the sky. And then drop it down. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And exhale, release. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, and alternating side, reach up and back. And an inhale, reach to the sky and back. One more each side, reach up to the sky and back. Last one, reach up to the sky and back. Now double arms, reaching out. You peel the shoulder blade off the floor and then you're just gonna drop it down. Inhale, reach both shoulder blades off the floor, reach up to the sky and come back down. Again, inhale, reach up from the sky and drop them down. Last one, reach up to the sky and bring back down. Beautiful. And then lower the arms down to the floor. Now the leg away from me, you're going to dorsiflex, which is my right leg, dorsiflex the foot. I want you to slide the leg down along the mat. I want you to control the abdominal and make sure your pelvis and your spine stays in a stable position. And then bring it back in again, sliding back. The other leg, exhale, dorsiflex as you glide the leg away, lengthening away from the hip, but you're gonna keep the abdominal active towards the spine and then glide it back down. Again, we switch, leg, exhale, slide up. Inhale, glide in, effortless. Other side, exhale, slide up. Inhale, glide in. Again, two more each side. Exhale, we're gonna find a nice, easy lengthening out, movement out of the hip and glide back in. And the other one, exhale, glide up. Inhale, come back in. One more each side. Exhale, glide up. Inhale, return in. Make sure your pelvis does not wobble around and the other one comes out, reach out and come back in, beautiful. Again, stable as the pelvis, take a deep breath. I want you to exhale, wrap that natural corset of yours, your TBA, pull in and take one leg up to table top from the hip joint. Right, and we're gonna lower down from the hip joint in breath. Exhale, we're gonna start slow here. Immediate um, exercises, exhale, lift. Inhale, we lower and then exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Measure the knee doesn't actually drop. And lower, actually the knee doesn't actually bend and stretch. Angle of the knee stays constant. One more, and then lift, and then we lower it down. And the other leg, we float the other leg up, stabilize the pelvis, inhale, we lower from the hip. Exhale, and lower, and then exhale to lift. Now, as you lift and lower, imagine there is a cup of tea placed on top of the front of the pelvis. Now, the cup of tea should not be wobbling around. It should be stable, sitting right onto your pelvis. Go one more time here, everybody. We'll lift up and we stay there. Now, lift the other heel up for the leg changes here. As you breathe out, let's take the leg up without pushing the belly out. Compress the belly in and change. And change. Nice, and change, and change. That's it, everybody, and change. We want to make sure the abdominal pressure is inward towards the spine and not outward towards the sky, and change, and change, 
and change. Now we're gonna add the arms here. If this is too complicated for you, just do the legs. Now from here, we're gonna lift the arms up four, three, two, overhead one. And again, up, two, three, all the way down for four. And lift, shh, lift, shh, lift, shh, shh. So four steps, you go to the other side. Shh, down and down. Exhale, shh, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, up, 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 up. Last set, shh, 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 shh. Last one, shh, 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 shh. Brilliant, both legs comes up to tabletop. Open the arms up to the T position, everybody. Spine twist, supine, squeeze the legs and rotate the leg towards me as we inhale. Anchor the shoulders down and an exhale, bring them back together. The knees should be touching next to each other. Inhale over towards you. And an exhale from the center, we bring the legs back. Inhale over to me, pressing the arms down to the floor. And an exhale, shh, come back to your center. And over to you as we in breath. And an exhale, come right back to center. And an inhale to me, this is your one last set. Exhale, come back to center. And last one over to you as you inhale. For those of you who just joined us, come along on the floor, we just started. And come back to center. Lower one foot down, second leg down. The feet are parallel and lined with the sitting bone. Interlace the hands, place the hands in the lower part of your skull, of your head. And I want you to just lift the elbows up for the chest lift, take an in breath. As we exhale, so I want you to fold the chest up from the lower rib cage and lift the head and the chest up. And take a moment and look at your belly here. Can we lengthen the pelvis towards the sitting bone so we're not gripping in the hip joint? Can we draw in the belly a little bit more so we come up a little higher? And then exhale, return yourself back down to the floor. And exhale, we lift up again. Shh. Folding, folding, folding. Inhale, lift a tiny bit more with that gripping in the hip. And then exhale, release the chest down. Again, exhale, we lift up. Shh. Folding, folding, folding. Inhale, lift up a bit more. Exhale, come on back down. Again. Exhale, we'll lift. In breath, hold and lift more. Exhale, come on down. Next one, we we'll stay up. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lift more, lift more, lift more. Grab the back of your thigh with the arms. Up a little tiny bit more. Curl up a little. The pelvis, transfer your hands back behind your head. Add the rotation from the waistline. Rotate to me. Chest lift with rotation. Center. Other side. In breath, center. To me, rotate. In breath, center. And twist. Inhale, center. Twist. And center. Twist. That's it, guys. Center and twist. Make sure the pelvis stays stable as you rotate from the waistline. And you want to maintain the height of the chest at all time. And lift. One more each side. Twist. Last one. We twist. We come back to the middle. And we come back all the way done. Bueno. Be beautiful, everybody. Stretch your arms overhead here. Make sure that your rib cage does not flare off the floor. Lengthen the rib cage towards the pelvis, lifting one leg up to the tabletop. Guard your abdominal in, second leg up to the tabletop, squeezing the thighs together for the hundreds prep. The arms float off. Then you press the arm, you lift the head and the chest up, curl up forward and reach the arm over to the other side. Inhale, lifting the arms off the floor, and then return the head and the arms over. To the start position, brilliant. Again, arms float up and then press down, shh, curling, curling and reaching. Inhale, lifting the arms and then return the head and the arms back down. Two more times, everybody. Uh, we're not hundreds yet. We're gonna do hundreds prep first, so. No rush, don't worry. We're gonna do hundreds after this, so we're just going to hundreds prep first. 
and an inhale, lift up, and then come on back down. All right, one more time. Arms up, curl up and over, lifting, lifting, reaching. Nice, everybody, open the collarbone. Inhale, the arms float up first, and then the arms come back down. Now we're gonna do the hundred, so let's go. We take the arms up, we curl the head and the chest up. You can stay in tabletop, or you can have the legs straight up to the sky, or diagonal with me if you wish to, to an appropriate height, and let's go. We exhale, we pump, shh, 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 shh. and in breath, that's it. And two, two, three, four, Five, and in breath. And keep reaching the legs away from you. And in breath. Can we come up a little higher? I want you to get your shoulder blades off the floor. Curl up a little bit more. In breath. And exhale. And And three more. And two. And last, and hold, ho, 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 ho. Bend the knees, bend the knees, bend the knees. The arms come up, the head comes down, the arms comes down, lower one foot down, second leg down, brilliant. Stretch the legs away on the floor. Ready for the roll up, so squeeze the legs together, please. Turn the palms facing each other. Lengthen the ribs down to the floor, arms overhead, please. The arms float up. Chest lift, look forward, make sure your legs are in the middle. And then curl up, up and over, up and over. If this is too tricky for you, you're welcome to bend the knees. And in breath, keep lengthening the spine, pulling the center in. And then we're gonna rotate the pelvis back. We're gonna go down, 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 down. The arms come over and here. All right, we've got inhale, lifting. Curl up. Now, if you need to modify this, you can bend the knees, you can grab the thigh, and we're gonna curl up, and then you can straighten the legs right at the end. That's it, in breath. Exhale, if you wanna modify this, you're gonna roll the pelvis back, you can bend the knees, whether you grab or you don't grab the thigh, and get yourself down, and then take the arms overhead. Okay, you choose which way you wanna do today. Take the arms up, lift the head and the chest up, bend the knees, or keep the legs straight, it's up to you. Curl up and over, pull back in the abs, and go up and over in front of you, brilliant. Inhale, pull deep into your center, then rotate the pelvis back. Make a point and get your sacrum down onto the floor. If you can't do it with the straight leg, go ahead and bend the knees, arms overhead. Last one here, arms up. Lift the head and the chest up. Pull into your abs, curl up, that's it. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the legs, squeeze the legs. Brilliant, now here, lift the spine and come up right. So nice and tall here, just adjust your bottom if you need to. The spine is, should be nice and straight. Ah, beautiful everybody, good picture. Let's go, pull the arms back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we stay, hold strong. Lift the right leg up and lower. Lift the left leg up, lots of quads here, and lower. Lift the right leg up, beautiful. Lift the left leg up, one more each side. Hold that upright position, everybody. Looking great, last one, almost there. Brilliant, good job. All right, now from here, bring the legs. Apart, take your arms forward for your spine stretch. I'm gonna rotate here. All right, so your feet should be about shoulder width or slightly wider. The spine should be long. If you need to, you may bend the knees to accommodate the spine here. Otherwise, have your legs straight and the back straight. Take an in breath. Exhale. We're gonna roll the spine away from the imaginary wall behind you. We're gonna bring the pelvis forward. We're gonna inhale to lengthen at the end. And we're gonna exhale, we're gonna roll the spine back against that imaginary wall behind you and lift up tall and taller. Again, we exhale, we roll down. We flex the spine and then we're gonna lean the pelvis forward. We in breath. 
Exhale, the first thing gonna happen is dig your heels into the floor, pull up in the lower abs and roll the spine up to the upright position. One more time, please. Exhale, we're gonna roll away from the wall. Nice, everybody. We're gonna lengthen right the end, in. And exhale, we're gonna roll back up, 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 and lifting tall. Turn the palms up, open your arms out to the side. All right, let's have the legs together. If it's too tricky for you, you can have the legs slightly bent or have them apart still. Right, spine twist. Rotate to me, please. Down the breath. Inhale, keep the legs quiet. Exhale, twist and twist further. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist and twist more. In breath, center. Exhale, twist and twist further. Inhale, center. And in breath, center, and if you watch, if you can see, my legs don't actually move. I'm trying to think about the spin happening from my waistline, above my pelvis, and then center. See if you can do the same. Exhale, in breath, center. Exhale, last one here. In breath, center, point the feet round the back, we're gonna roll about 20 degrees back. We're gonna drag the legs in. We're gonna bring the legs together for rolling like a ball. So we're gonna grab those hands just above the ankle here. Right, if rolling like a ball is a no-no for you, go ahead and do a pelvic curl. Now from here, balance, take your feet off, guard your legs with your arms here. Let's go. We inhale, roll to the shoulder, exhale. Balance, again. Inhale, roll to the shoulder. I shouldn't see any legs flinging up and down, all right? Guard your legs, keep it tight to your bottom. And then, don't let the legs fling out. So press the feet into your bottom with your arms and roll. Exhale, press down to lift. Thank you, two more, roll. Press the feet down to lift. Last one, roll. Press the feet down to lift, we stay. Beautiful. Bring the legs up to a tabletop position. Glide your hands towards the knee. Press in towards the knee bone. We're gonna pull the abs back, curl and reticulate the spine away from the legs. Bring yourself to the double leg stretch position. With grace. <laughs> Bend the elbows, pull in a tiny bit here. Lift the chest a little bit more and release the pelvis down to the floor. Right, okay, double leg stretch. Inhale, like a boomerang, you shoot the legs and the arms away. Exhale, bring it in. If this is too much for you, you can just shoot it up to the sky. And a circle, in. Inhale, reaching out and center. You choose the angle of the extension of the arms and the legs here, and center. If this is too much for your neck, just keep your head down on the floor and do this way. And then exhale, center. And again, in breath. And exhale, center. Last one, in breath. And exhale, center, we stay. Lift up a little higher if you have your head lifted. Hands on the right knee, extend the left leg forward for the single leg stretch. Again, if this is too much for your neck, go ahead and keep the head down. If not, you can come up with me. Come up a little higher in the chest, lift please. And then we switch and we breathe out. And change. Here, see if you can have your feet in the same height at all time. We're just gonna pull it out and bring it in. Not kicking out, yeah? Exhale. And two more sets. Last here and stay. Right knee to you, interlace the hands behind your head. You guess what's coming? Rotate towards the bent knee. And then from here, rotate to the other side for the crisscross. And then we switch. So take it slow on this one. Exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. And exhale, switch. Lift the chest high. And switch. And switch. One more each side. Make sure the legs are neat. Last one. We come back to the center hole. We release the head down, circle the arms down by the side, lower one foot down gracefully, second leg down gracefully, align the heels with a sitting bone. One pelvic curl, and then we move to the shoulder bridge prep. 
Let's go. We draw in the center, we curl the pelvis, we press the feet down, lift the hamstrings, curl the tail up, press the arms, and stretch your belly. Guess what, guys? Let's flare the belly out. Push it up and just stretch it out for a second. We're breaking rules here. Just press it up, release the belly, and then bring them in, roll the spine down. Just a little cheating stretch, hey. Roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. All right, shoulder bridge prep. So we go up, we curl the spine up again, roll it up, press the feet, press the arm, curl the tail, hamstrings are on, glutes are on, arms are on, back is on. Now from here, press the right foot down, squeeze the right bottom up, take the left leg up to the tabletop position. We're gonna stay balance here. We lower down from the hip tap, and we bring it up, and tap. We bring it up, and tap. We bring it up. Like the leg lift, we move from the hip. Two more, and lift. Last one, and we're not done yet, and stay. Open the knee out to the side, and bring it back to center. Open the knee out to the side, and bring back to center. Do not fall over, two more. And come back to center. Last one, counteract with the opposite abdominal, center. Lower the foot down, re-establish the pelvis, adjust the pelvis so it's even. Press the left foot, lift the left bottom up, take the right leg up to tabletop. Thank you. And we lower. We lift. And lower. We lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. Two more. Do not drop the pelvis. Last one. Curl the tail a little higher and we stay whole. We open. And we close. Open to the side, challenging your center, and back. Two more, open, and close, that's it. Last one, open, and back, lower the foot down. Re-establish the pelvis, make sure it's even, and then go ahead and roll the spine back down to the floor, excellent. Stretch the left leg down on the floor, bring the right leg up to a tabletop, and flex the foot, stretch the leg right up to the sky for your leg circle. So imagine you're gonna high five your foot with the ceiling here. Let's go across the body and down circle in breath. One, stay parallel, exhale, inhale, one run. Exhale, one run, inhale, one run. Exhale, one run. Last set, one run. Exhale, one run and stay. Reverse, out, down and in one. Exhale, inhale, one run. Exhale, and drop and recover. And drop and recover. Inhale, one run. Exhale, last one here, stay. Grab the back of your thigh. Pull the leg closer to you for your hamstring stretch. Keep the quads active, the muscles in front of the thigh. Keep the heels reaching to the sky and plant your tush down, your bottom down, and pull closer for five, four, three, two, and release. Bend the knee, lower the foot down, bring the other one in first, then you stretch the first one down. The other leg comes up to tabletop, Dorsiflex and high five the foot to the sky. Anchor your leg down. And let's go across. Inhale, one round. No wobble, wobble in the pelvis. Ex, inhale. Exhale, inhale, one round. Exhale, last set. Exhale, we stay whole the other way. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, we stay. Grab the back of your thigh. Pull the leg closer to you as far as you feel comfortable. Keep the leg active and stay for five, four, three, two, one. Release, we bend, we lower. Lift the arm closer to me overhead and turn your body face me for our side lift. Legs are together on the floor, bottom arm is long, palms facing up, top hand in front of the chest. Your bottom waist should be active, pulling up. 
right? We're going to float the leg slightly. So we are already floating here. And then we're going to lift the leg up higher, lengthen the lower waist down to the floor and lift the leg as high as you possibly can. The head can rest down on the floor. And then we lower. And again, exhale to lift, lift, lift. And in breath, imagine you are a piece of toast in a toaster. You've got a heating element in front and the back. I want you to stay in the middle, right? So balance the front and the back connection so you can lift the legs up and lower. And one more, balance the front and the back, lift the legs up and then lower. Now we can take the arm here and now let's see. Let's go lift up, same, same but with less base support and lower. And then exhale, lift, 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 lift. Inhale, lower. If this is too tricky, press your hand back again to the floor. Lift, 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 and then lower. One more, we're gonna balance. Lift, 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 we stay. Float the top arm up, press down in the armpit, and open the top leg, and we're gonna do a little bit. Exhale for 10, bit. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Wow, everybody, awesome. Bring it down and bring the arm around. Wow, you're impressive. Come up onto your elbow. If you know the side kick, do this position. I'm gonna do the modified version over here. If you know what I'm talking about, do this. If you don't know, follow me. Forearm down, top hand here, legs are straight. Take the top leg up for the second. Thank you, Marin. And let's go. Flex the leg forward and we go. Inhale. Exhale. Watch the wobble, guys. Uh, there is a slight giving of your body swinging, but you shouldn't be like a tornado. Inhale. Back, back. Exhale. Inhale. Reach back. Yes. Exhale. Inhale. Reach back. Last one. Inhale, reach, reach. Bring it back to the center. Come on down. Push yourself up, swing your leg over to the other side. And don't kick anything around you. <laughs> like a table or a sofa or something that is painful. All right, so side kick, same thing. We're gonna balance on one side. Top hand down to start the bottom with needs to be active. In fact, my armpit girdle is also active pulling up. Yeah, and I'm gonna float the leg up to begin and then we'll lift. Beautiful, and lower. And press down, we'll lift. And I want you to find a sense of elongation in the top shoulder and not cringing up as you lift the leg up. So you can find the shoulder lengthening away from the neck and so the work is really concentrating right here. And lift. And lengthening down. Last one. Oh no, we're not gonna last one. I'm gonna take the arms here. I forgot. And then lower. I'm sorry. Again. And lengthen, lift. And then lower. If this is too tricky, place your hand back again. Lift. And lower. Two more. The key here is to be tall and taller and taller every time you lift the leg. Lift and hold that. Top arm float. My armpit girdle is still active, pressing down the arm. Take the top leg up. Little bits for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, so beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Lower the legs down, lower the arm down. Help yourself up to your side kick, onto the elbow or onto the forearm like you did before. Again, lifting the underneath side. This armpit girdle should be active lifting up already. Take the top leg up, proud chest, dorsiflex. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Minimize your swing of the body. Exhale, maximize your leg swing. Exhale, inhale, two more sets. Inhale, last set. Inhale, reach, reach, bring the leg together. Roll onto your front for the back extension and single leg kick. Palms facing to your thighs. Legs are together like a snake tail. Inhale, glide the arms down, lift the back up. Your neck should stay long. 
and come on down as you exhale. Two more times, inhale. Think about you've got side pocket on the side of the thigh. You're gonna slip the arm through the side pocket. I'm gonna glide the chest up a little bit more and lower down. Your legs should be active, anchoring the body down. Inhale, last one here. Lift, lift, and stay. Take the arms out to the side. Bring it in front of you. Interlace your hand, push the forearm down. Lift the back up for your side. Single leg kick, sorry, not side, we've done the side. Single leg kick, float the legs off without collapsing the lower spine. Press down the forearm, bring the chest forward and up. And let's go, right leg kick, and so double pass. Inhale, 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 exhale, 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 exhale. Don't slam the leg down, please. And then, and exhale, and inhale, inhale. I lost my breathing right here. Let's go again. Exhale, 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 exhale. And two more set. Last set. And extend both legs straight, straight, straight. And we squeeze the legs together, push your arms down, lift the chest a little higher. Pick up the belly, please. Do not collapse in the shoulder. Push away, push away, push away and lower the feet down. Release the grip of the hands, right? Pull the belly in, curl up, and just push yourself off gracefully to your rest position. Take an in breath, <laughs> that's it. And then exhale, all right, tuck your toes under, straight away, up stretch position, please. We've got a lot more coming. Right, just readjust yourself here. So tippy toe, lift the toes up, Head between the arms. I want you to rotate the armpit forward towards the floor. Active arm pushing off the floor and then lower the heels down while you keep your back engaged. So we're gonna try to flatten the back and get out of your round back. Beautiful shape. I wanna create a triangle. That's it, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now don't forget to engage the lower rib cage, which is gonna to connect to your upper abdominal. And then from here, walk your feet to your hand. Just walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Come towards the front and then curl your tail under, bend the knees, sit yourself down to the floor. Yeah, perfect. And a stretch your leg away in front of you. Palms facing forward for our sore. Plant your bottom down. Arms out to the side. Rotate towards me from above the pelvis. Rotate. Move the arm. So the ass a little pinky. Keep the back active. As you come up, the back arm opens to the side. Open the arm, return to the center. We twist, move the arm one forward, one back. So the ass sort of the little pinky. Lift the back up, open the back arm to the side, open to out and center. Again, twist, move the arm. We saw, come up back arm to the side, open the arms and the center and twist, move the arms. We saw, back arm to the side, move the arms and to center, last set. Rotate, move the arms, and whistle. And then open, open, center. Last one, twist, and arm, whistle. Back arm, move to the side, open the arms, and back to center. Okay, legs closer together, hands behind you for our back support. Have your heel aligned with your sitting bone so they're not quite together, slightly apart. Press the hand down. You can also have your fingertip facing to the side if that's a little bit more comfortable for you. Otherwise, have the little fingers facing to your bottom. Now here, your back is already active. We're not slouching. That's the beach, right? This is what you're gonna do in a swimming pool, not here. Push off, proud chest, that's it. Dig your heels down, press the hands down, lift up. Creating a reverse play. Now here, take care of your neck, everybody. I want you to look up to the sky, just slightly diagonally forward in front of you, and then fall at the hip, and we're gonna just touch the bottom to the floor, not resting, just touching, and rebound up, press up. Ah, gorgeous. And an inhale, lower, just touching, and then bounce up, press up. That's it. And an inhale. 
Just touching. And again, exhale, press up. Lift. Thank you. Inhale. And down. Last one. Press up. Lift, 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 lift. Excellent. And come down and release your bottom down. Push off. Bend the knees. Take the arms forward. Ready for your teaser prep. We're going to lean back to a point where you can easily lift the legs up. If this is too much for you, have your feet down. Now, we're going to roll the pelvis, the spine away from the legs to where there's no turning back. And then we're gonna pick ourselves back up again as you in breath and come back to that beautiful back. Oh, look at you, so beautiful. Thank you, exhale, we roll down. Curling, curling. Squeeze those inner thighs together to wherever you feel you need to be, or you can be, and then bring it back up. Lifting, and the back muscles start to engage right at the end. Again, exhale, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, connect the arms, and then we're gonna connect the arms as you come up, and then we're gonna lift the back gracefully. Nice, two more, exhale, roll away from the legs, and in breath, come back up, lifting proud chest, sternum, look away, last one, exhale, roll back, roll back, roll back, inhale, roll forward, roll forward, lift forward, lift the back, ah, beautiful, and lower the feet down, open the knees, lift the back, just like that, just stretch your hip flexors, nice, all right, then cross the leg, Transfer the hands forward for our quadruped position. So we're going to do our kneeling plan. Tuck the toes under here. You should be in one vertical alignment with the shoulder and the wrist and the hips and the knee. All right, and then from here, push down with the hand and broaden your back to the side and to the front and to the back. Now from here, as you breathe that, I want you to switch on your corset muscle and press down and press the feet and lift the knees and float up. We shouldn't sway like a hammock or rounding like a camel hum and stay there for 10. None, keep the pressure of the abdominals inward to the spine. Push the floor away. And five, four, three, two, one, Brilliant, and lower the knee down. Release the ankle, we've got front support and leg pull front. Here, I want you to set up yourself, curl the tail under slightly. So bias towards a tuck pelvis, yeah? So you're gonna engage the lower abs. Slide one leg out, tuck the toes under. Keep the abdominal, lower abdominal on without rounding the upper back, just the tailbone. And then second leg out, just that tailbone curling down. Curl your tailbone under everybody, just turn a bit more. Yeah, take the right knee forward as you breathe out. Inhale, extend, left. Inhale, extend, right. Inhale, extend, left. Inhale, extend, right. And out, left. And out, right. And out. Imagine your child is sitting on your pelvis or your pet or your husband, or your, anyone, you should be staying absolutely stable here. And out, exhale, and out, exhale. You're okay, Ling. Last one each side, that's all right, you can rest, darling. And last, and we stay there, point your right foot. Lift from the hip, out for five, leg pull front. Four, three, two, straighten the kneeling, one, and bring the foot down. Point the other foot and lift. Two. Make sure your bum doesn't come up and down. Three. Four. Five. Bring it down. Bring one knee in. Second knee in. And sit back just a moment. Stretch your arms forward. And come on up and face me again. Onto our forearm this time. Let's go this way. Right, here everybody, we're gonna have your top leg in front of the bottom. 
shoulder, elbow align, lift the armpit girdle, ribs, waist, hands here. We're going to your side bridge. This is not going to make a successful exercise. Lift off. Thank you. All right. So we're going to press down and come up to that plank. Beautiful. And we come down, lengthening down. Next time we're going to stay there. I want to lift up, press up, and stay. Put the weight on the top foot. Take the left foot forward, knee forward. Can we do it? Extend. One. Bring it under, place it down. Two more. Lift. Two. If it's too much for you, just stay in the side plank here. Or the side bridge. Three. Lift. Bring it in. Bring it down. Lower down. Bend the knees. Beautiful work. Bottom arm comes up. Reach up to the sky and side stretch. Oh, the other way. You're going to stretch towards the feet side. Salah ara, we can see. Yeah, thank you. There we go. And then come back. Switch. Let's go. So, again, the success of an exercise is about 100% on the setup. Right? We make sure all the legs need to be apart. None of this swaying down. Crane up your armpit, your ribs, your waistline. You're ready. And then the lift will be so light up. Thank you. Lengthen down, reach out. Next one, we stay up. And up. Weight on the top foot. Bring the bottom knee up. Extend. And under and slide. And again, lift. Extend. And under and slide. My hip is floating, but you can keep it down if it's too challenging for you today. And down, I think that's three. Lengthen down. We bring the knee in or foot in. Bottom arm up. Reach up. And off we go. Nice. And onto our front again for our swimming. Lengthen the arms. Lengthen the legs. We're doing good with time, everybody. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right, we're almost there. Last stretch. Flat the shoulder blades down. Lift the legs off the floor. Flat the arms off the floor. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And we go in breath. Exhale. Paddling from the shoulder joint and the hip joint, not the elbow and the knee. Rotate your armpit forward as you paddle the arms. Inhale for about five. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more sets. Last set here, everybody. Exhale. We're going to hold, hold, hold. Legs together. Open the arms to a T position. Bend the knees. Grab the ankle. Guess what? My favorite. <laughs> it's not really my favorite. I just have to practice this a lot. Rocking prep. Right, from here, we're going to curl the tailbone under, lift up the lower abs, and then press the leg back. Lift the chest up, articulate up, and then extend the leg, lift a little higher. And release down. Coming down. Just be careful with this one, Bernadette. And then curl the tail under, and then exhale, no, exhale, inhale. Articulate the spine up, reach the leg a little higher, Push back with the feet and coming down two more times. And in breath, your legs should be working, pushing the arms away. Your back muscles lift the spine up and extend the knee and bring it down. One more time, again. Inhale, lifting, reaching, pressing back, lifting up, reaching up, coming back. Down and release, well done. Release the leg, forearm to the side, push the floor away, round back, curl, curl, curl. Sit the pelvis to your heels, to your rest position. Two sets of breath here. Inhale and exhale. Long breath. Slow down the heartbeat. Exhale. 
and let's roll the spine up. All right, last but not least, thigh stretch, everybody. Apparently, this is on a hit for TikTok. I don't know, someone told me about it. So, <laughs> how low can you go with the thigh stretch? Apparently, I don't know, you tell me. Press the arms down. We all know the thigh stretch. If you don't know, just see one repetition. Carl can show us how it's done. He's done it so beautifully, isn't it, Carl? <laughs> right, we're gonna press the arm. Imagine there's a table here. We're gonna press the arm down against the, against the imaginary table. Curl the tail slightly, engage this up. Now we're gonna lean back from the knee joint. Lean back, maintain that line. Your gaze is forward. And then come back, come back, come back. You should not feel it in the lower spine. If you do, you need more abdominal contraction. Oh, watch that back, my love. Ramona, watch your back, honey. Yeah, Ramona. Right from here, we're gonna curl the tail. We're gonna lean back, we're not arching. We're gonna keep maintaining that straight line here. Watch my straight line, Ramon, Ramona. And then we're gonna bring ourselves back to center. And just watch this, everybody. We're not doing this, we're doing that. Okay, let's go two more times. And pressing down, zipping up the abs, leaning back, more abs, more abs, more abs, and Pull yourself back, squeeze the bottom a little bit, and you return. Last one, that's better. Again, press down, more abs, lean back, lean back. As you come up, squeeze the bottom a little bit, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Open the arms out to the side. Now from here, let's do the run back version. We're gonna take the arms forward into a C curve. Then we're gonna sit, the pelvis towards the heel, maintaining that C curve, tuck the tail under, and then come back up. Inhale, open the arms, turn the palms up, and give me a little high release. Extension, that is. And back. Arms forward, rounding into that C curve. And we're gonna sit back. And forward we go. Open the arms, slide out. And arch the upper back, we got one more. Let's do it together. And we go rounding, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. And come forward, open the arm, slice out, arch the upper back. And bring it in. And then release the pelvis down and just stretch the arm, not the arms, the body forward for a rest position. You can have the knee slightly wider if you wish to. In breath here. Exhale. Settle the body down. In breath. Expanding the back of the rib cage. Exhale. Surrender your body down to the floor. One more. In breath. Exhale. And in breath. As we exhale, let's roll the spine up. Coming all the way to our beautiful upright spine. And you are all done, my friend. Well done. That was gorgeous performance from each one of you. Good job. Thank you so much for moving with me today on this stormy weather. Um, definitely amazing to move with every single one of you today. And I hope I will see you again next month for the same class. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels, as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, 
comments and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.